Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs, Ringside and Australia. This right here, I'm really excited for these. We got a couple of unreleased figures in here. So, yeah, but before we get into these packages, I want to show you a couple of fix ups. I got Yoshi Tatsu. The head scan, this I got from my good friend Hopeless Emotion. Really cool person. I put a link down to her Instagram. So go follow her. She does a lot of customs slash fix ups. But yeah, I put the the head scan from the basic onto the elite body. I'd love to see him back. I know they didn't do much with him first go around, but I think now since they had that cruiserweight division, I can definitely see them doing something with Yoshi Tatsu. Now the tag team champions. I finally got around to making the customs the custom tag belts. I'll take them off. See, so get them a little bit closer. Look. But yeah, I found American Alpha at retail, and I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta make their belts. I know the camera's not really picking it up very good, but it is like a shiny gloss silver, and of course the rest of the belt is blue. So yeah, I, I found them, and I'm like, I gotta make those belts. You know, we gotta, we gotta bring the, the belts to the tag team champions. So yeah, let's get... Let's get these two open. I think I think you guys will enjoy. What do you, what do you guys want to see first? The package from Australia or a ringside? I'm gonna I'm, let's do ringside. Save save Australia for last. This right here, uh, I can't. What was it? Big Boss Man. I ordered several. I, I ordered two modern, two modern superstars and a couple of legends. So get get a little bit of both worlds today. Now. What I'm going to do, hold on, I'm going to pause this for a second because this is really taped up. Okay, so first figure we got, I ordered Dana Brooke. So, I've been buying a lot of Divas lately just to complete the roster. But yeah, we can put her side by side with Charlotte. That would just, that would look awesome. And I do like this figure a lot. The head scan, they did a pretty good job on that. I think that's uh. Yeah, she's got those thick lips just like Dana, so really cool diva figure. We do have a couple of legends in here. I know we got uh, the big boss man. This is kind of like his, I think I think it's safe to say like his shield attire. But yeah, we got the big boss man. You know, let's move this box so we can see them a little bit better. We got big boss man and... Victor. We got Victor, one half of the Ascension. Can't wait to review those figures. Those look really cool. The well, at least, at least the accessories. I can't say I'm a fan of the body choice on some of these, especially Connor. I yeah, I could I could have definitely gone with something better. But once we get them, you know, opened up and we'll get those reviewed. But yeah, just really cool. You know, finally we got. What was it like two years before we finally got them in the elite? That battle. I mean, the battle pack was pretty cool. I know. I know that one was. But yeah, Tatanka. So we got to talk. Yeah, this is a comes with the his weapon accessory right there. First time in the line for Tatanka. The where is it? The Australia package. Here it is. If I can only find that damn knife. See, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew I was gonna lose that knife. Where's that knife? Ah, here it is. All right. So these are a couple of exclusives. These are from, like I said, all the way from Australia. And these were actually supposed to be released here in the States. And I don't know if this is a true story, but pretty much what they said was that these figures, the way that they had gotten them, a bunch of people had stolen them from like a factory. So that's how they were able to get their hands on them. So these are actual Mattel figures. They're not they're not knockoffs. Man, did they pack they double bagged it? It's a good thing, because I mean anytime you're shipping overseas, you gotta deal with all those boats, you know, having to worry about your figures breaking. So, Larry Sabisco, very important, very important figure for, you know, let's take him out of this wrapper so we can see him a little bit better. Yeah, I'm telling you, they, they did a pretty good job. I'm pretty happy with their packaging. So, Larry Sabisco, really important character for, you know, for your Legends slash WCW. So, yeah, I do like this one. Again, this, this was supposed to be a Hall of Fame four-pack. It was him. NWO, Scott Hall, and Kevin Nash, and Latino Heats. Oh, that's cool. They threw in the belt. I wasn't sure if we were going to get the belt or not. So we have Eddie Guerrero in his street attire. And by my, from what I understand, he was actually supposed to come with, like, the NWO shirt. But, yeah, no NWO shirt, but they did include the, the belt. So that's cool. 
I do like this figure a lot. This is, wow, Latino Heat. Yeah, just, uh, it's unfortunate. I mean, I hope they still release it. If they release it, I'll still pick it up just because I really want that Nash and, and Hall and just, I mean, this, this would even be a great for a fodder. But yeah, regardless, this is really cool, really good haul. I did overpay a little bit on these, but it was totally worth it. You know, we need, we need Latino heat. And I think the shirt, I know there's several people that make those shirts, so probably going to hit them up to complete that. But yeah, till next time, everybody.